Hi, this is Rick Morgan. This is Nolan Morgan. And we want to talk a little bit about Batman 251 that we cleaned and pressed today. We made this mask. This one's special because we made a mask for it to... Well, I'll let Nolan tell. Well, Nolan, what did we do? Well, we made that mask for it, first of all, and then we covered it in just the white parts, and then we sprayed one application of 6% hydrogen peroxide, and afterwards we put it in the purple-blue light box, and that got rid of all the white, uh, the yellowness. How, how long was it in there for, Nolan? What was it? Um, an hour and a half? Hour, hour and right? 20 minutes. Yeah. Hour and 20 minutes. Hour and 20 minutes. And we just did one application. We did the back of the same book. Back. I'll show you the I'll show you the before and after of the front here. And it doesn't look much different. The back looks a lot different. So I'll show you the back initial and final. We didn't use a mask on the back because it wasn't there wasn't a lot of color. There wasn't much danger in uh, in doing it. And we can show you the before and after there. With our, our lights were 435 nanometer lights. And then we pressed the book. Afterwards, we pressed it at 55 pounds for 600 seconds at 165 degrees with champ two chamfer boards and four pieces of silicone paper, right, Nolan? Yeah. And we'll show that in a little bit here, too. So now you got the whole thing in case you don't want to watch the rest of the video, but please stay tuned if you want to see what we did next, right? Right, Nolan? Yeah. All right. Wait, let's show them our secret handshake. Oh, yeah. Good job, son. All right. Yep. All right. See you guys. See ya. Bye. Here are the before and after pictures of this book. They look pretty much the same, but if I zoom in on some of the white areas, like I will around this uh, ace card here, you'll see that they are a little better. It looks different when you when you scoot in close. You'll be able to tell the difference. And here's the rear of the book where the differences are, I think, more obvious. And I'll zoom in on a, a closer section so you can see that as well. As like last picture, you can see that there's a still a lot of yellowing on the previous picture, and there's a lot more whiteness and a lot of you know looks almost perfect on the left on the one on the right, the final one. You can see on the left there's a bit of a dawn incorporation. It's, it looks a lot better compared to the cover of the book because the cover of the book almost looked the exact same as the final. But this particular book doesn't have a lot of wrinkles in it. There's a few color breaks and there's a spine ticks here, here with a little bend in them. They don't need a lot of pressing. And the front honestly doesn't look that bad. I'm gonna clean it anyway, but um, this is actually supposed to be yellow, but there's the same sort of foxing and modeling throughout the front cover on the top that you can really see <clears throat> very apparent on the bottom of this book, especially if you look here where my finger is, I'll bring it up. Closer to the camera, you can see some of this foxing and modeling that we're going to try to remove. <clears throat> the way we do that is I'm going to start with an, an ImmacuClean clean, and then I'm going to give it the old a blue light special. So I'm going to start with ImmacuClean. This looks pretty clean. We'll see if we get any dirt up. Anyway, again, I'm going away from the spine. I'm going to see if I pick up any material with this at all. So it cleans up. Not really. It's actually pretty, pretty clean. And I'm going to let this dry to the touch before I handle it. Again, it's about 15 or 20 minutes. A little bit of dirt came off, not a lot. It's pretty clean. It's going to look a little better, but not a lot better on the front. Now we're going to do the same thing on the rear of the book. And I don't expect this to have much effect on this foxing, but the light and proxy work better if you, I find that if you, if you clean it first with this, if there's any kind of topsoil, this can help to remove it. And it will look better. Oh, overall, it's actually quite clean besides that stuff. Yeah, not too bad. Not much is coming up. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is put this, this peroxide mask on, and this helps to shield things we don't want the peroxide from getting. So we take our peroxide bottle, I'm just going to squeeze it off here and take Then I'm going to remove this mask. Then we're going to put this 
light shield on top of the book here. And we're going to put that on there right here. The back here I have this, and I just do this again. So after an hour and 20 minutes, this is what the book looks like in the back. And for comparison, I'll show the initial view on the left, the final view on the right so here, Fox which you can see and compare. All right, so we pressed the book after we did our light treatment, and it was standard press. I'll just show you what it looks like inside here. We have the pressing boards on the top and the bottom. So here's the top pressing board, and then we have a pressing board here and a silicone sheet. And here is the book, and inside we had a chamfer board and a silicone sheet on the front and the back. And underneath it's another silicone sheet. Let's take a look, see what it looks like now. Book looks good. I mean, it wasn't really challenged in the front in the first place, but I think it looks better now. Definitely looks cleaner. The whites look whiter. And then we'll take a look at the back here. The back I think looks better overall. So this is Rick and Nolan and who's this? And Coco. This is Coco, our puppy. And she wanted to be in the video too. She has a broken foot, so she's yeah. not feeling too good. She only weighs three pounds. She right? weighs three pounds. Poor dog. So we um, we want to say that the mask itself, we're not certain that it really there's really usefulness in it. We we like to not expose parts of the book to minimize the exposure to peroxide and light if we can. In areas where we don't think it doesn't necessarily need it. Like you can tell we didn't do it on the back at all. But on the front, a book with these delicate colors and a Bronze Age book that's a nice book, we just don't want to do it. We've hundreds and dozens of books done without any kind of masking at all. They look pretty much the same, sometimes a little bit different, but uh, sometimes they look, feel a little stiffer after the peroxide use. So we're trying to minimize how much of the book is exposed to the material, and that's why we did it. Uh, is it necessary? Probably not. We just don't know, and we just did it in this case. Right, Nolan? Yeah. All right. Anyway, take Take care. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.